have a problem. Yes, I do. Junkie. Angel, you've got wings, baby. Luke. Yeah. Eleven. You make that look really good. Oh, it is really good. It's the best coffee in town. Oh, yeah? I'll have to get a cup. Good plan. Yeah, I've never been here before. Just uh, passing through on my way to Hartford. You're a regular Jack Kerouac. Yeah. Hey, you mind if I sit down? Oh, you know what? Actually, I'm meeting someone, so I... I'm Joey. Okay. What, you don't have a name? No, I do have a name. I just am really meeting someone, so... So I guess I should get going. So soon? What? I'm just screwing with your mind, Joey. It's nice to meet you. <laughs> Enjoy Hartford. <laughs> Enjoy coffee. Mystery woman. Hmm, I like that. Oh. Hey, it's freezing. Oh, what do you need? Hot tea? Coffee? Lip gloss. Aha. I have vanilla chocolate strawberry and toasted marshmallow. Anything in there not resembling a breakfast cereal? Yes. It has no smell, but it changes colors with your mood. God, RuPaul doesn't need this much makeup. Well, you're crabby. I'm sorry. I lost my Macy Gracie D and I need caffeine. Oh, I have your CD. Thief? Sorry. And I will get you some coffee. What? It's not for me, it's for Rory, I swear. You're shameless. Look, Officer Krupke, she's right at that table, right over there. Right. Oh, he's got quite a pair, this guy. Thanks. Yeah, I've never been through her before. Oh, you have too. Oh, hi. Oh, hi. You really like my table, don't you? I was just, uh... Getting to know my daughter. You're... Are you my new daddy? Wow. You do not look old enough to have a daughter. No, I mean it. And, and you do not look like a daughter. That's possibly very sweet of you. Thanks. Mom. Mm. Mom, get up. Roy, what's the matter? Nothing. I just want to get started. I made a list of all the things we say we're going to do on weekends, but when weekend comes around, you say they're too boring to actually do on a weekend day. So then you say we'll do them during the week, which of course we never do. So. I think that we should get them all out of the way today, once and for all. And to make it interesting, we should come up with like a reward system. So once we're done with everything on the list, we could go get manicures. Or we could go to that Swiss place for fondue for dinner. Or we could stuff our purses full of Sour Patch Kids and Milk Duds and go see the Stars Hollow Elementary School production of Who's Afraid of Virginia Woolf. It's 6 o'clock. I know. On Saturday morning. That's right. It's 6 o'clock on Saturday morning. Do you want to wear docks or sneakers? I want to wear slippers. Up, please. Rory, my heart, it is Saturday, the day of rest. Sunday's the day of rest. No, Saturday's the day of pre-rest. Pre-rest? Yeah, so that way when you actually get to Sunday, you're rested enough to enjoy your rest. That makes absolutely no sense. That's because it's 6 o'clock on Saturday morning. Oh, jeez. Up, please. You made a rhyme. I'll see you downstairs. Edmaster Charleston, we'll see you now. <clears throat> Great. Great, thanks. Ms. Gilmore, I'm Headmaster Charleston. Hi. Wow, that's really nice to meet. Mom. Um, uh, um what, are you, what are you doing here? I came to wish my granddaughter luck on her first day of school. But... Rory, you look wonderful in that uniform. Uh, you didn't have to come all the way out here, Mom. Well, this gave me a chance to make sure that Hanlon here takes good care of Rory. You're Hanlon. Hanlon Charleston. Hanlon's wife and I are on the symphony fundraising committee together. Wow, that's great. Your father and I are golf rivals. We're still fighting it out to see which one is worse. Oh, yes. We're all old friends. Well, there's nothing like friends. Especially if they're old. Ones. Well, would you like to take off your coat and have a seat? Oh, no. No, I'm fine. I'm afraid they were a little overzealous with the furnace this morning. It's quite warm in here. I like it warm. <laughs> Lorelei, take off your coat and sit down. You don't want Hanlon to think you're rude. <sighs> Laundry day. The Comedy of Errors, written... 1590. 
Published? 1698. Ooh, 1623, close. How is 1623 close? I got the 16 part right. I was off by 75 years. Well, anything under 100 is close. What kind of a rule is that? I'm running the study session here. Okay, Richard the Third. 1591. <coughs> 93. <coughs> 96. <coughs> okay, that's getting really annoying now. <coughs> Time to get up. Hey, I have a huge dilemma that I need your opinion on. What? Am I more beautiful today than I was yesterday? Oh, boy. I'm just not sure. I mean, at first I looked in the mirror and I thought, well, yes, definitely huge improvement. Can I have my pillow back? But then I thought maybe it's not that I'm more beautiful today. Maybe I was just as beautiful yesterday, only I lack the self-esteem to recognize it. I'm gonna go take a shower. Well, hurry up and I'll drive you to school. No thanks. Why so charming this morning? I had an annoying visit from the Stars Hollow Wake Up Fairy. Where's my tie? In your drawer? I'm looking in the drawer. Mm, check the living room. Why would my tie be in the living room? Because it's been seeing the doily on the coffee table. I'm sorry, I did not want you to find out this way. Don't take this personally, but get out. Okay, you're crabby. Do you know what the perfect cure for crabbiness is? A fabulous trip to the mall. Huh? What do you say? You can blow off school and come with me. We can shop and go to the movies, maybe talk a little. No, thanks. Come on. Just this once, it might make you feel better. I feel fine and I don't wanna shop. Honey, I know you've been in a funk over Dean, but you have to try not to dwell on it all the time. I'm gonna be late for school. Okay, then just meet me in town around four and we'll get some Indian food and spoil our dinner. What do you say to that? Whatever. Hey, love the enthusiasm. Hey, does Up With People know about you? Oh, hey. <laughs> Got your note. Yeah, well, putting it to the Malamars is always a safe bet. Oh, coffee? Please. So, um, Grandma and I went to the bank today. How'd it go? We got the loan. Good. So, then everything's okay. Yeah, well. Wow, nice uniforms. I'm sorry I told Grandma about it. Oh, hon, listen, there, there's gonna be a time in our lives where occasionally I'm gonna make a mistake. It hasn't happened yet, but it might. Sure. But I've earned the right to make that mistake, and I've earned the right to fix any problems without interference. I just thought that they could help. But I didn't want their help. But... Rory, have you ever been without food or clothes or books or book covers, for that matter, or anything else you ever needed? No. No, and see, the reason for that is me. I have a pretty good track record for keeping you alive. Yeah. You do. So when I tell you I can handle something, you need to respect that, especially since you have no evidence proving I won't. Understand? Yeah, I understand. I'm sorry. I officially declare this fight over. Thank you for that. 